Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me back here. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lava, and in Old World Blues, playing as the Enclave. So right now, this isn't where we left off yesterday, but the only thing I did was basically get more war justifications against enemies. So, as you can tell, I've already just gone to war with the Grand Tribes. I've also gone to war with the Paz Banditos, but I've done nothing against them. They're all here, fully, pretty much, still fully strength. As well as being at war with the Foragers, which I've done nothing with. Actually, do we have anyone... We are justifying against Genta, which will take 30 days, but since we are together once again, happily together, we should go ahead and go to war. See what we can do with the Foragers. Uh, I don't think they attack me at all. Yeah, they look pretty much, well, mostly full strength. Maybe not fully, but mostly at full strength. And then you guys, I don't expect you guys to win super well over here, but hey, you know what? If they can win, great! Great! Uh, do we have any Cryptology Foragers? Yeah, why not? Cool. And Genta will be next as well. Like I said. Cool, cool, cool. Those guys will be done, those guys will be done, and then it's all of Mexico that we must terminate. Terminate with kindness. And by kindness, we really mean not so much kindness. Cool. Don't do that, it's fine. Just let time go on. We have 500 political power, so some outdated equipment. Uh, we can do power armor stuff, and right now we are trying to restore the Yuma Proving Grounds. We do have quite a bit of political power, so... Oh, there goes the Foragers. Thank you for playing, Foragers. Better luck next time cool uh let's see let's core something else i think i did core yeah stock 10 40,000 26,000 20,000 14,000 26,000 uh this one yeah we'll core this one copperopolis oh that's kind of cool thank you we have a lot of manpower holy cow that's quite a bit um you guys are over here so i'm gonna throw y'all down here Cool. Very, very, very good. Whee! Right there. And then with the rest of Kiva's. Kiva. Thank you for playing. Let's head on down. And have a good time. The uh, Enclave Divisions. I keep calling them Enclave Divisions in this uh, campaign. The Power Armor Divisions are already down here. Putting up some planes. Yeah, we could really use a lot of air bases down here. A lot of air bases. Good, good, good. And the Grand Tribes. Very nice. I use Milt for that one. Even though he doesn't have that many divisions, he still has 11. But that's pretty good. Um, hmm. I think these guys are going to kind of suck a little bit. This cartel. Don't really like them, but whatever. They are who they are. Does anyone have upgrades? Kieva? Also, as you can tell, this is the final episode in this campaign. Because we are pretty much done getting rid of enemies. That's a nice way to put it. Getting rid of them. Putting them in a happier place. And that is on the ground dying. Cool. That's so much manpower. Jesus. Investigate, and we'll do investigate the rumors as well. Cool. Let's go ahead and go to war with these guys too. Because Las Caranjas is fighting Moctezuma. So. 80 days. Not bad. 3, 2. We're good enough. Naval specific manufacturing. Cool. And we get attacked. Actually, before we really decimate them. They don't have a lot of manpower. They have a couple divisions up, that's not too bad. They are trying to beat us up, but they can't really beat us up if we beat them up. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, we're still fighting though. We're still fighting the Paz Banditos, huh? I didn't realize that. Uh, but then again, I don't think it really matters. We're we're doing a pretty good job. Oh, as we have done. Might as well use it, right? And we're doing some air bombing. Cool! They got a lot of ships. Wow. That's a lot of ships. Why does Moctezuma own this? And, hmm. They probably took out the free fighters that way. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Cool. Couple more guys destroyed. Casually only destroyed 21,000 of them. Not bad. 22,000. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh. Paz Banditos. Thank you very much for playing. Crazy Eyes, you are a great general. Keep it up. Uh, good attack them. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine with me. I'd like to see the casualties, though, for that war. 1,000 versus 20. How the 20,000 did you lose that much so far? Holy smokes. You're defending over on a river. How? How did they lose that much? That's crazy. You are taking way more losses than they are. Why? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make no sense, though. Please, please, please. 
Cool. Let's go that way. Since we're gonna kill these guys off next, you guys come up there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right there. Awesome. Take half of y'all. Come over there. Awesome. All right. Anything else here? Not really. No, not really. No. I could remove this. Outside, we could go to outside well, battalions. I'm thinking, you know, we might go there. But we might just lower our conscription because, you know what? Since we're the enclave, our soldiers are precious. We could probably use soldiers for other areas of maintenance. We'll say for enclave country restoring America maintenance. We'll say, call it like that. Something like that. You know, something cool. We need as many scientists working as possible on good things, on beautiful things. Also, I did try to... Oh, oh world's coming out. It's fine. Uh, I really don't care. These guys... I don't know how you're taking that many casualties, man, to be honest with you. I mean, that just that doesn't make any sense. You guys are defending. Or on some crazy, like... Moctezuma, 1,000. Yeah, 20,000? I mean... How? On a, Over a waterway. Yeah, they got robots, but... Still... These guys have 300 divisions, 202,000 manpower. Oh, they're out. Oh, that's not good. But like I was trying to say before I interrupted myself, like normal, our scavengers returned triumphant. Nice. Old world schematics. But I am trying to start making a ton of light robots so I can use them as, eventually, who defends it online? Garrisons. And we have these divisions. I'm just going to go and throw dogs on them. Suppression is 4.8. You throw on dogs, it goes just higher. Actually, nice. That's done. This will give us a 9.9. .9. Ooh, we can just throw in some combat robots, but that's okay. So let's go to war with these guys, and we'll go to war with these guys. Unless they die first. They might. Never mind. That's pretty quick. That is ridiculously quick. 10 days, that is a little insane, not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead. They have 17,000 manpower, and that's probably gonna drop very soon. Nice. Yeah, Fort Huachuca. Huachuca. Alright, losses thus far. The casualty 5,000 versus 212. Not bad. We can go ahead and go to war these guys, too. They look pretty defeated at this point. Eh, we might give some of the territory to Moctezuma. We might not. It actually might be easier if we do give the territory to him so that we can defend on normal land. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest with you. I really don't. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Uh, we could take these guys out. Taking these guys out would be a pain in the butt. I might just go to war with Moctezuma after this. Yeah, that might just be best. And then come back for these guys. Yeah, let's do that. Waste a little bit of political power, whatever, doesn't matter. Oh, 15 days, that's pretty... That's, that's very quick. Um, I lied, I'm just gonna take it all. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Cool. So, let's plan this out carefully. No, we don't, we're not going to naval invade. About nine-ish here. Five-ish there. Five-ish right there. Yeah, I'm actually going to pay attention to this. Uh, how many soldiers we actually put on the front. This time over the waterways, even though, as you probably know, I don't care for these waterways that much, but whatever. Ooh, power armor divisions. You know what? We can have these power armor divisions just kind of hanging out here. Three at a time. Three more. Three more. I think three divisions will be enough to hold over a waterway. And it might bait more enemies into attacking us. Good. Uh, throw one more in there too. Cool. Biggies. Looking kind of nice. Cool. Let's finish up and then we'll keep doing it. And before we do that though, we are building stuff up, which is good. Build up the infrastructure. Good. Uh, oh, we have plenty of planes, which is awesome. Don't forget radar. 
Bosses? 9,000? Only 9,000? That's it? Oh, it's almost 10,000. That's pretty good. Commando training. Very good. Come on, guys. Just take it. They don't need it where they're going. Nice. Got you guys. Two, three, four. Cool. Uh, you know what? I will keep using these as river crossing soldiers. I can't believe I actually kept using infantry this entire campaign. Maybe you don't do that. You know, maybe I don't. I don't remember. I play so many campaigns in Old World Blues that sometimes my memories all just blur together. Give me one. Give me one. There you go. And we should have all the waterways covered, so I'm going to throw you 12 right here, because that's not too much that we have to take care of. I'll throw all of you guys right here as well, which means you got to increase the infrastructure. Everywhere else should be pretty darn good. We don't really probably need any more. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys hanging out, though, this way. Cool. Just go and do that. And stuff like that. There you go. Air bases, that's going to be absolutely necessary down here, though. Absolutely necessary. And we're getting to go to war very, 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 incredibly very soon. Anything over here? No. No, that's okay. Anything over here? 2.6 thousand. Mirelurks? Sorry, I don't think we have too much use for Mirelurks. Ooh, we're not making any power armor. That's not good. Oh, we need quite a few... bit more... Uh, things of factories. That's fine with me for now. We did like this. Cool. Bear packs. Um, you know what? For this, go ahead and do bop. Oh, what the heck? Bop, bop. There you go. Go back to 15. If you collect any extra, there you go. That's going to be nice. We're currently, we have how many robots? 13,000. That's not going to be enough, actually. I mean, currently, we use 42 manpower. If we did this, it would be, well, in a little bit, 30. So it's not a huge difference. But you would need so many light robots to garrison this area. About 14, that's quite a bit, which is fine. That actually should save us some manpower. Well, look at that. Kimmel station so low. So nice. And we can go to war by the 31st. Precision motors, nice. Sultrons, cool. Armor hardening is very awesome. Airplane bombers, attackers. There we go. Split them up just so that if we need to, that'd be nice. Put you guys right there. I want to make sure that when we do go to war, it's going to be a nice go. Relatively nice go at this, so. Oh, okay, well, they're doing stuff already. Cool, anything over here? Nice, we should be good to go ahead. And watch what happens. They're immediately going to attack us, I knew that would happen. They're killing them over here, which is good that I kept this spare army over here. Uh, song from the front. Ah, that's a more worse part because they're probably gonna extend their lines over here. Hmm. Actually, you know what? If they're abandoning the line to attack someone else, just go ahead, help them out, put them out of their misery. You know. Or we wait. Let's wait. I want to see them kill these guys off so we don't have to. That's kind of the nice thing. That's a very nice thing, actually. And as soon as they're done, we're going to just go ahead and attack as well. Losses. We lost 99 versus 2300. Not bad. Come on. Take out the cartel. Mm -hmm. Eh, you guys can go ahead. You can guys probably... Oh, you don't have that covered yet, huh? I shouldn't offer that much resistance around here. Good.
Oh, hey, they, hey look, they, they went bye-bye. Only 8,000 so far? Oh, man, we need more. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Beautiful. This is honestly a little disappointing. I was hoping that these guys would die a little faster, but you know what? I guess you can't rush perfection. Hmm, I don't know if I call that perfection, but whatever. Just prepare y'all's... Y'all's selves. That's probably not very good grammatic English. I can't speak right now, apparently. My apologies. Words are difficult. And it's a good thing I'm not an English teacher person. Because, man, I'd be really bad at that. Hey, boy, finish your agency branch upgrades. Oh, yeah, we could... Oh, come on. Goodness, guys. Guys, just... These are people, and these people you don't like. Actually, how have they not capitulated yet? Oh, they have... Mazatlan. I don't think we're going to those guys, then. The world may never know. Cool, there we go, my kids. My kids, my friends, my dudes. Most of you guys probably aren't female, but whatever. And before we do that, let's actually use this, because that's pretty useful. Alright, even though over the waterways we struggle a little bit, which is fine. Completely expected. Uh, yeah, over there, not looking too good yet. Over here, oh, who dares wins. Looking not bad. Sinaloa, oh, there is some fierce fighting in the Sinaloa cartel area. Or airspace, I guess, really. Go ahead and move on through if you can. Losses. Only... It's not bad. The division number count is dropping. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, 212. Only 59,000 losses. Only 60,000 bear packs, too. Sure, we will be the experts in naval warfare, even though we don't even have a single ship. You know, we could watch, like, our armies decimate the enemy, but this is just... I'm liking this. I'm liking watching... The, their division count just drop. They still have more divisions in it, so... Oh, it went back up. Okay, yeah, we get it. We have a lot of planes. Uh, yeah, obviously we're not going to win everywhere, but that's fine. How are the Enclave divisions looking? We should probably go ahead and fix this up first. Go all the way up there. I keep counting on Enclave divisions. Actually, with Moctezuma owning all this, you... Oh, he does have a miscourse. I was hoping that we wouldn't have to take out everything, but we might have to. Rabco. Hmm, flamethrower add-ons, cool. Can't core that, just go and core this, that's not bad. Are we still mobilizing more? No, we're demobilizing, but even though we get 1.37 thousand a month. Alright, not bad, they've lost 100, well, they have 120 divisions left, they lost over 100,000 so far. Ah, ah, so many victories to remember for us. We got a lot of air XP, which makes perfect sense. At this point, just go and justify on these guys. It won't take that long to kill them off, probably. 80 days, not bad, not bad. Keep it up, guys. Y'all get in Texas real nice. Oh, we actually lost a division. I did not realize that. We actually lost a division. That is not good. Anyone have upgrades? You, you guys might have upgrades. Someone will. Corvus? Never mind. Milt? Uh, life giver. That's pretty good to do. Power armor. I remember the correct term this time. Paul. Paul Rip. Rip me another one, Paul. Sure, why not? You got a strong back. Which I'm not sure what that means when you're out of supply, but that's okay. Northern region sections. Ah, uh, base Ventura. They have less than 100 divisions? Yes, they do. Good, good, good. Go, Paul Rip. Go, go, go. Oh, well. God, I love power armor so much. Now, it would help if we had way more infrastructure, at least supply, probably. And air bases. Don't want to ever forget them air bases. Uh, how's radar looking? Not bad. Could be better for us. That's okay. Oh, the Sephir's done for them, too. Nice. Uh, let's get the Sephir done for these guys done. Once again. Very good. Oh, you guys are done? No, you ain't. No, you ain't. All the way down there. Make it a grand show. Only 79 divisions left. I'm sure they have plenty of manpower, right? You can only kill so much manpower. 161,000. That's not bad. 71. 71. Wow. 69. Wait. Now it's 69. Nice. Great. Oh, Gauss weaponry. Um, 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting getting both Gauss weaponry as well as plasma weaponry in one campaign. That almost never happens. Usually you have to choose between one of these two, but we got both. Or we could basically use both, but by, the, by this time, I mean, it really doesn't matter that much, as you can probably tell. Spell the Rift Raft. Nah, I don't think we will. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and do this. We'll see what we can do with these guys. Nice. Do that too. Re Reynosa. Another division. Good. Throw it back on this dude. This fella. Oh, good, good gals, but I think plasma weaponry is just a little bit more fun, especially against uh, robots. So, 44 divisions left. The next group that doesn't have anything to do or no orders. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move you guys all right here right now. Get rid of them, guys. How's Milt doing? You know what, Milt? You guys come down here too. I have a good time. Cool. Let's come back up to California because California is pretty populous. If you never knew that, yeah, they have a lot of population in California. We might be able to get to Shady Sands, maybe core them. Population continues to increase, which is radical. Pretty radical, I'd say. Oh, power armor, I forgot to tell you to go. That's fine. Uh, supply's pretty bad too, so. No worries. Optic filter is very cool. And then you guys come over there. Ah, power armor? Sure, why not? You never know what you'll find. Sometimes your soldiers come back, sometimes your soldiers don't come back. So what's the gamble? Hey, there we go. You might as well go to war with these guys now. They look pretty, actually pretty strong. Let's see what happens. Uh, we're not winning down here too well, but we're winning up here pretty nicely. And then again, if you only attack with literally two divisions here, I guess like at least 12, that ain't much. Ooh, we're doing pretty well over here, I'd say. How many light robots do we have? 29,000? That's still not enough for us to garrison everywhere, but we'll see. We'll see. 0 0.01 for the Cyclops tribes. Wow. Nope, oh, there's some serious lag. Okay, they wow, that, they capitulated very early. That's what I thought would happen. Wow, that was incredibly early. We killed probably at least 120,000 enemies. Which obviously isn't enough, but, you know, whatever. And we'll get to El Foro. We hold these truths to be self-evident. You bet your butt we do. And we actually synchronized that pretty darn well. So, I guess that's going to be the campaign, my friends. I really hope you enjoyed it, because I did as well. Especially starting as New Reno, and then becoming the Enclave, which is a lot of fun. If you haven't played the sub-mod for New Reno Reforged, I would recommend it. Maybe play as the Enclave, maybe even try the Thrad's army path. But regardless, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the campaign. If you did, consider leaving perhaps a like or two, subscribe or two. Uh, check out my Discord link if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow in a different, great campaign. Have a great rest of your day, guys.